Hello guys, today I'm answering a question I received on Twitter and recently I'm filtering what do I reply to on Twitter because a lot of people approach me with questions and I don't have enough time but in this case I thought that this topic could be useful for more people so I'm shooting even a video of that. So typical situation, you have categories and you have products with as many but you want to show only X amount of products per category like this demo project for example. I've seeded categories, fake data with products and what if you want to show only four products or only five products per category in the controller you have something like this category with products with has many and in the blade it looks something like this so for each of the category and then for each of the products of course you could limit that on this level so for each category products take four for example right and then if we refresh, we have only four, great, but it still loads too much data from the server then. Then we filter that on the blade level and it's not really optimized. How to take only four records per has many relationship. And it's not as easy as you think. And the best way to do that in Laravel is to use an external package. So first let's try to do it without a package and probably a typical way of thinking how I've seen people thinking about it. So with loading the relationships, you can specify some conditions. So for example, you can do that in the array products and then have a callback function. So function query and then add some condition to that query like query where something or like something. So for example, as a demonstration, let's do where name like, I don't know, letter A for example like this. So if you launch it like this, the result will be everything with letter A, which is all of them. Let's try letter B. So I would show you as a proof. Yeah, so with B, it's much fewer records. Great. So you would think that you can do something like this query limit four or take four, right? So it would add limit four to every subquery result on the products. But the result is not what you expect. And I have installed Laravel debug bar at the bottom to show you what queries actually are performing. And here's the query. So eager loading doesn't perform a sub query. It performs a separate query to list all the products. And here's where it applies limit four, which means it limits all the products to only four records, not each of the category. So this is not what we want, right? What is the correct solution then? Of course, you can mess around with writing your own SQL query for that. So not use eager loading of eloquent, or you can use this external package. This is probably the fastest way to achieve the result. Eloquent eager limit with that package. You don't need to change anything in the code. So that syntax will work if you install the package and enable the traits on the models. So install the package and then enable the trait of has eager limit on both child and parent models. And I've done exactly that. So install that package and then in the models in category, we add has eager limit, which is automatically added on top here by my PHP storm. And same with product has eager limit. And now if we just relaunch the page without changing anything in the controller, refresh the page and we have four records per category and look at the query. Here's a proof for you how complex it is even on SQL level to perform this. Look at the query. So it's not just sub select. It's a lot more complex. Laravel row, Laravel partition, if statements, select. So you may want to take a look and kind of decipher what it actually does under the hood, or you can just use the package and not bother understanding that SQL syntax. Also, you may use more packages by the same author who is kind of a professional in eloquent relationships. I already reviewed a few of his packages on my YouTube channel, but just as a reminder, eloquent has many D belongs to through JSON relations and a few more packages. So check Jonas GitHub profile. And if you want to dive deep into Eloquent and its performance, I have a few courses around Eloquent performance. It's one of them. Then there's structured databases in Laravel, which involves some Eloquent stuff. And you can get all of my courses by purchasing yearly membership here, currently at $99 plus taxes, if that applies to you. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.